Hey guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching Sijab video. Today we will make this holographic effect very quickly in this video. And if you like this tutorial, please like, share and comment. So let's start this. So I have the same with this static mesh character and I have this empty material. So inside this, I'll just take the world position and I'll use the Z and I'll just add time on it. And then assign, it will give me that strips. And then after using these strips, I'll take the, and I can also preview this. So I'll just browse this and preview that here. So you can adjust the strips width if you want. After this, I'll take the printnail, just preview the printnail. I want this to be two, and then I'll take the power, and then I will multiply. Uh, first, let's add this on this sign, and then multiply this with this again and you will have this so i'll just connect this into the opacity let's make this additive only two sided and add a color like orange here and that's it and i think i'll just make this little less let's save this and i'll just drag this on this character and see it looks cool but i will increase this intensity maybe 20 and it looks cool then i'll right click and make a new material or I'll just duplicate this and I'll call this rays and inside this I'll use that color but not these things I'll delete this and this also so basically this is what you have and if you take a three vector and subtract world position from it and connect it to world position offset it will send all the vertexes to the zero so to mask that out, I'll use the noise texture and in the noise texture, I'll use the lerp and just connect this here. And now this noise will prevent some of vertex to move to the zero like this because this noise has this black and white thing. So what I'll do, I'll just go here and duplicate this character, control D and I'll drag this material on it, this rays and these, this all gone to zero. Let me just save it again. Yeah, now you can see the rays and I want to control that. So I'll make this zero to one and let's also saturate it. And just connect here. Let's make the color a parameter. Save this and right click and make an instance and then drag the instance on here on this second character open this and then I can just decrease this to make the rays subtle and I want to move that so basically this thing is the location and to make a parameter right click go to material material parameter collection you can call it MPC for the short go to the vector make a vector rename this anything you like like location and that's it save this and drag this into your material this is four vector keep in mind so you have to mask it out xyz and connect this here then hit apply if you go down here open this and you increase the position using these values it will move this so you can connect this with something like a sphere so if i take the sphere drag this maybe a little smaller okay and also make this movable then what i'll do i'll go to the blueprint take a reference of that sphere and get location then what i'll do i'll use this one select this then select the location connect the tick and connect this location here and that's it now if you simulate to simulate it and then boom so now it's working properly if you want this to touch this you can go to your material and this thing make it like minus two and save it again and if I now play, it will now touch that sphere. Looks cool, very easy. And you can do that also on animated character.